gentlemen, it is time to wrap it up, B. Because uh, Mr. B's got to go home and go to sleep because he's got to no, he's got to work the early, 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 early shift tomorrow. That's so right. with more than 90,000 people coming on track over the last two days, hugely successful as far as attendance is concerned. So great job from the folks at Breeders' Cup Limited and uh, outstanding from all the connections with the athletes. Everything went off perfectly. Everyone was yeah. safe, no injuries, and we all had a great time. And we saw the champions that we came to see. Well, that's what we said last night uh, after the great day yesterday. We were hoping today would live up to expectations. Many times they don't, but this one exceeded expectations. It was just. Like a, like a Hollywood script with the way the mayor came through and did what she did in that classic. And it was just a great day to show showcase this great sport that we love so much. Yeah, no mm -hmm. question. Congratulations to Santa Anita and Breeders' Cup. I mean, an awesome job of handling this wonderful crowd. And I've never seen a crowd, like I said, as behind a horse as they were behind Zenyatta today. Congratulations to Jerry and Ann Moss and John Sheriffs and his wife. Just an awesome job managing this filly. And I, I think you really, really have to consider her for Horse of the Year honors. No question. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this is Hollywood script for me. I mean, with the backdrop here at Santa Anita. And, you know, it was funny watching Zenyatta walk out she was sort of stopping and taking pictures and it was just unbelievable to watch and you couldn't even script this better in a movie for her to be 14 for 14 one of the best sporting events I've ever seen was today it was unbelievable it was like we were at a horse race and in a like a, a premiership game yeah. for DC United broke out. It was <laughs> unbelievable. It was unreal. It really was. You're absolutely right. I yeah. mean, that's the kind of thing that when I first joined in the sport 10 years ago, you guys were telling me, hey, this is how horse racing is every single weekend. And mm -hmm. we really hadn't seen these crowds in a long time. Yeah. It was right. really nice to no see question. those crowds and also nice to see the public be rewarded yeah. because they really wanted to see their horse come through and they got a chance to see their horse come through for them. Zenyatta is for the people out there and it was really nice for them to be rewarded. They came out in droves and we had many more people on crowd on hand today than we expected and they got to see the queen come through. And we can have our discussions about horse of the year later, but right now just enjoy all the champions we had a chance to see and the fact that they all got out safe and a lot of folks made some money. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> but other people did. Yeah. Yeah, but also you know, going back to the, the mm -hmm. kind of the main competition mm -hmm. that stirred up a lot of the animosity or just playfulness between mm -hmm. all of us, well, the U.S. Yeah. against the world. Yeah, and, and that's the competition is the key. Next. You know, we talk about all the winners. Obviously, that's where the focus is, and that's where it will remain. But congratulations to those, all of those horsemen, all the principals involved with all the the horses that uh, participated and made this the world champions that it should championship that it should be. You know, we applaud them for for sure. coming. Truly a world world class event, and uh, the Europeans definitely well represented here with uh, a lot of winners this weekend. Well, just like every other year, it seems like the Europeans dominate the turf, and we dominated most of the sprint races and most of the main track races. I thought it was very very good. We thought the Europeans might have an edge coming in, coming off last year, and a lot of them probably got overbet a little bit. But I think we did a good count of ourselves. And how about the cowbred winning the sprint? That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, <laughs> nice job from Brian Corner and Joe Talamo. They rebounded from last year. It's yeah. very disappointing. Morning, you kind of go back on the same path and try to do it all over again. But they had that year experience. They knew what their mistake was. They worked it out, and it ended beautifully for them. It's also ending perfectly for us. We've got to go. There'll be so much more on the Breeders' Cup on the finish line coming up on Sunday night with Gary Seibel and Nick Hines. In the meantime, for the entire crew, Paul LaDuca, Ron Ellis, Bob Bedecker, I'm Ken Rudolph. We'll see you next time on TVG.